All right, folks, I'm here with a big smile on my face. I don't know who I am, and I've lost all semblance of myself, my former self, all the parts of myself that I treasured and loved and cherished, my curiosity, my compassion, the uh, confidence, the ambition, the, um, the lovingness, the playfulness, the singing, the dancing, just the goofy silliness, the t making jokes and having fun and um, the passion and motivation for helping the world and helping other people, all these like things, all these emotional experiences and ideas of the things that felt really good to me, what felt, what made me feel like me when I was out in the world. Um, are all just kind of gone. They're all just gone. And and the clarity of mind is gone. The That's been fading to the point where now it's like I have no idea what's going on around me. And I don't mean like conceptually. I mean literally like looking around. It's hard for me to even connect the dots between what I'm seeing and the idea of that in my mind. Okay, yes, there is a beige wall. Okay, yes, there's a blue towel. And it takes so much effort to do that, that I just stopped doing it. Um, where it really struck me when I was trying to go back into, that's another thing, accessing memories is hard. Basically, any movement of the mind is extremely difficult right now. So. All I can do is just sit in what is in the moment, which is confusion, which is just nothingness. It's just nothingness. And it's not depression. And it's like... Okay, I hear the sound of the bird outside. Hear the sound of the bird outside. I hear the sound of the bird outside. I hear the sound of the bird outside. And then there's space in between. And that's pretty much it. Now, this is not a desirable thing. This is not a state of mind that you can get into or that you'd want to get into. It's not anything. And it's not a spiritual thing. It's not a in the moment thing. It's not a life is what it is kind of a thing. It's not direct experience. Um, it's just what I'm experiencing right now. I hear the sound of the bird. And then there's a space in between. <laughs> That's it. Now, you know, when we've let go of so much of who we were, all of the, even all of the best qualities, not just the worst ones, just the best ones as well. Um, and we've let go of all of our relationships. and we have nothing left, there's still just the sound of the bird in the space between. So we still have something to hold on to. So we have to let go of that. And it's not a forcing, it's not a mandate to do so. It's not something that you can choose to do because it's not an action. It's not like I'm going to take a rest. It's not like I'm going to do anything. And then there's the space between. The space can get longer and longer sometimes. And when that happens, when the space 
seems to envelop everything. Maybe there's, there was sound and there isn't, and it's not coming back. Maybe there was light and it isn't, and now it's just dark. At that point, we kind of panic and we will try to find anything that we can possibly do to create activity again. Because to actually go into the silence and into the darkness for real, <laughs> that's a whole different story, okay? Um, so we will think, we'll talk, we'll move our body around, we'll do self-care, we'll, we'll come up with, an, you know, not to disparage those things, but it's that there's a certain point in this journey where there is nothing you can do. And it is a very delicate process because if it were easy, everyone would be doing it for sure. If the world were, hmm, how do I describe that? This is just not a process that most people are going to be doing right now. It just isn't. Um, it's not a desirable thing. It's not something that we, that, it's not something that to be desired. It's not something to strive for. It's not something that is debatable like whatever that process is that i'm talking about it isn't a process that you're going to understand it's not a process that you're going to relate with um and transmit or receive or teach or learn um it's not like i mean it can look like that but it isn't if that makes any sense. Um, that's not really... I think a lot of people get hung up on that point. Aha, uh -huh, yes, there's, there's teaching, there's learning happening here. No. Because the secret is not a secret. The secret is not hidden, and it is not... Like, there's no deception in this place. There's no possibility for lie to arise. It's just, they're, they're, so regardless of whether, <laughs> like, I'm trying, it's like I'm trying, I'm trying to think about how, where the differentiation is, and there just really isn't any. Um, and that's a scary thing. It's just a scary thing to face where it's a place where there really is no differentiation. And I need to go for a minute. And I'm back. So it's like that. You know, it's just like that. <laughs> yeah, we. This is my bad side that you're seeing now, right? And maybe I'll show you my good side. And that's my good side. It's like that. So,
So yeah, there are uh, sort of like that. Kind of like that. A little bit like that. Talking is overrated, is what I would say. Um, in the sense that, nah. <sighs> right now, we have that. We have talking, we have language, we have speech. Is that the same as talking? Not exactly, they're two different words, right? So that is the way that things are now. It's not always gonna be that way. And for now, we have the words. For now, we have the differentiation between the words. And we have antonyms, synonyms, and such. That sets things up in a certain way, and that sets up reality in a certain way. And the language definitely impacts and influences how we perceive. I can't really say as to whether humans will continue using language for too much longer. I don't know whether we will merge languages and then who knows what's going to happen. I mean, who knows? You know, the, the, it's hard to rest in a place of not knowing. There's infinite potential there. And there you can see all the different possibilities of what could happen. And the more people are comfortable, I don't, I'm not going to make that kind of prediction. I'm not going to make that kind of prediction. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Uh. Humans, am I right? Uh, uh, every time, every time it gets me. You know what I mean? So, not sure what to do with this. This is a rock that I picked up somewhere. I think it's called rhodonite. Um, but I don't, I don't, wow, that's weird the way my thumb goes. Anyways, I don't use it. I don't, but it is here. Know what I mean? We don't know what to do with things. They are here. But there are a lot of different uh, ways, different There are many different ways and yet only one can be. So Go figure. Um, it depends on, on how you see the world. 
So if you choose to fix your view in time, then of course, like, you know, it's not that things are fixed, but like, if you put this on a table, right? Eh, your brain is going to say, okay, well, it's in that spot. No, not really. I mean, it's vibrating. Internally, it's vibrating. Externally, its environment is vibrating. And I mean, it's also not even in that spot. It's in a lot of different spots too. So there's no real fixing of it, but like so we we try to we try to move this is there's not one flow and yet yeah that's the paradox the one and the many the infinite and the and then there's the none the none and the one and the many and the, 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 the. <laughs> anyway I, i'm gonna have to go now so So yeah. Don't get the wrong impression, right, from this video. I don't know what you can see about me and about my life, my emotional, my personal life is, by all accounts, is awful. Awful, it's awful. Uh, my emotional life is awful. My social life is non-existent. Um, my mental life is offline. Um, my work life, again, non-existent. Um, these, all these things, you know, if, if I were to attach to any of those, oh, I wish that I had a friend. I wish that I had a relationship. I wish that I had a job. I wish that I had a family. If I were to want those things that I don't have, it would be miserable. It would be absolutely miserable, like endless suffering. That's been my experience. Um, and especially if I look around, oh, wow, all of the other people that I know, they have those things. I don't have those things. They have those things. Double misery, you know, so it's not worth it. Um, we all deserve to be happy. We all deserve to feel safe. We all deserve all these things. But if that's not what it looks like for me, you know, that can get warped into the ugliest self-hatred, ugliest self-pitying humiliating shame and regardless of how other people see me you know it's how I see myself um, on a personal level it's like I have to try and keep my spirits up while also allowing for as much of the emotion positive negative and everything in between to arise and just to be you know so don't be fooled Right? That's all I'm saying. You never know what's really happening. And making assumptions. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs>